now 3 p.m. So let's go outside and check out the stores. <laughs> Although I don't think I'll buy anything because yesterday uh, we went to the Dior Spa, you and me. Uh, we went and got this haircut and uh, I feel like I spent some money already. <laughs> I feel much lighter because it was really hot and to walk around with such long hair in the heat wave. And I feel more fresh right now. He tried to style it the 80s way. I don't know why, like he's an Italian in France and I had three stylists in Hong Kong. They all try to style my hair in the 80s way and I just feel like I'm not cool enough to carry off such style. So I just wash my hair. This, these are my natural waves. I think I, I look better being natural and just very simple. And I'm wearing this denim dress and this is this is tweed so i've been saving this dress for the mediterranean for malta and possibly sicily but i caught covid in venice so i did not go and this is why i'm wearing it now <laughs> and i put on a lot of sunscreen because it's boiling hot outside it's today saturday so on monday it's gonna be 40 and on tuesday as well but by that by tuesday i'll be gone i'm leaving on monday so uh for today i think i'll go to the store and check it out it's sale season in Paris. If I find something spectacular and very special, maybe I'll consider bringing it, bringing it back to Hong Kong. As you can see, my suitcase is very small. So this one is full and I have a medium size. It's also very full because I started my journey in April. So I have like cashmere sweaters and cardigans and so winter clothing spring clothing and then summer clothing really don't have space in my luggage and also uh yeah i i, I just want to take a look uh, at the paris cell <laughs> and bring you along and then i really want to see this art collection it's called the pinot collection uh it's close to my hotel as well i hope you can join me on the final days of my journey after three months in france let's go outside and check it out and then enjoy sunny Paris before I go back to Hong Kong. the hotel and put down the box. I know I said I wouldn't buy anything but I bought a hat and it comes with such a big box. I'm not sure if I can hand carry it. 
because it's like my suitcase. It's the same size as my medium uh, suitcase. I'm walking to a mess right now, um, but it's almost seven o'clock. The invitation says uh, ten thirty till six thirty. I'm not sure if I can see. I can still see the jewelry collection, but um, it's nice to walk around. It's not too hot right now, and um, I need to get something to eat anyway. I don't think I'll buy anything else. <laughs> Such a big box to carry. Oh my god, I need to control myself. <laughs> I think the store is closed already. Ooh. Yes, the store is closed already. It closed at 6 30. Uh, maybe I'll come back tomorrow or not. <laughs> Actually, I have nothing to buy. But it's a good place to walk around. Uh, this Hermes flagship store. It's a good place to walk around. Hello there. My shadow at Hermes. And um, if you have never been to this store, it's nice to see their craftsmanship. But uh, I basically really don't want to buy anything. I'm just taking a look outside, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I hope you can see the sun is so bright. And actually, Hermes has this uh, makeup line. Um, they have lipsticks and nail polish. But I don't like the colors, so yeah, I actually have no desire to walk or inside. <laughs> but um, yeah, maybe I'll come by tomorrow, have a glass of champagne. I guess uh, with the VIP invitation, it comes with drinks and it'll be a nice experience too. Now, I think I'm just going to walk around and see if there are any good deals, <laughs> shopping discount deals. Maybe I'll buy a little thing. Uh, maybe I'll buy one dress or have shoes <laughs> and uh, tomorrow actually at 10 o'clock I need to get my PCR test done in my hotel room so I'll get up at around 9 have breakfast then at 10 o'clock I need to be back in my hotel room to get the PCR test and um, hopefully that's negative is a negative test so I can take my flight on Monday afternoon back to Hong Kong so I'm flying Paris to Dubai Dubai to Hong Kong and um, yeah I'm gonna shoot a video about going back to Hong Kong as well because uh, once I get back to Hong Kong it's seven days of quarantine it's my last days of freedom <laughs> today and tomorrow then I need to go through quarantine so seven days inside a hotel room it's very small hotel room yes I'll see you again tomorrow and then we go and see the Pino collection together Hi everyone, 
afternoon is now 1 30 so let's go outside and spend the last day in paris together <laughs> i'm going to see the pinot collection it's about 10 minutes walk from my hotel and uh actually this morning at 10 30 a doctor came to my hotel and did a covert test for me so i already paid her 150 euro for a 24-hour test result and uh, she's gonna give me the result tomorrow morning i really pray to god fingers crossed that the result is going to be negative and I'll make it to the airport on time because I already paid for seven days hotel quarantine in Hong Kong so I'm actually really unsure what's going to happen if I don't have the test result or if I if something happened that I'll miss the quarantine and miss the flight for a rapid test same day result is 300 euros according to the hotel concierge uh, this is what they're charging in Paris and I really I told the hotel Hotel, I don't have the budget 300 euro for a COVID test that is a lot of money so I prefer 150 for a 24-hour test result but this is the most important travel document according to Hong Kong government I spent some money already spent some cash already this morning and um, I'm not sure if I want to buy anything else because yesterday I bought this hat I'll wear it for many years to come and every time I wear it I'll Think about Paris and uh, spending this trip with you guys on YouTube. Actually, last night I spent two hours walking around <laughs> before coming back to the hotel because uh, I'll give you the address down below. If you ever come to Paris, uh, please check out this street. It's full of art galleries. Two hours looking at the paintings and the sculptures and very inspired. I found it more fulfilling that way than going to the luxury stores. Let's go outside and uh, go check out the Pinot collection first and then I'm really, uh, I'm, I really don't have any plan for today. My plan is to keep my wallet closed, uh, not spending so much money because <laughs> um, just in case, just in case, because uh, actually do i feel 100 percent well not that well because of the heat i'm not sure if i caught covid again or because of the heat wave i actually had sore throat in the past few days and i had ear pain inside my ear it was just like pain 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 like ugh. so i'm not sure if i caught something hopefully not COVID again because I caught it in Venice I wore this top as well that the day that I got really really sick in Venice yeah fingers crossed again hopefully that's just my reaction to the heat wave I think I will not travel to Paris or to Europe ever again during the summer during the, the during mid-July because it's too difficult to walk around in such high temperature i'm gonna spend it indoors <laughs> at the at the museum and then uh yeah at the luxury stores and that is better for my health because during such long flights if i have pain inside my ear and have a sore throat it's gonna be quite uncomfortable so yeah, as you can see, I have four bottles of water there. That's how much I, how much I drink in the morning before I leave my hotel. And um, I'm talking this way. I don't know if it comes across to you through my iPhone, but my voice is like really, <laughs> it's a bit strange. Today is my last day and uh, I'll finish this video uh, after today's visit and then I'll make another video about going back to Hong Kong and going into quarantine. <laughs> yeah, a lot of sunshine here, heat wave and then seven days inside a hotel room in Paris, in Hong Kong without any sunshine. <laughs> I'm not sure how my body is going to react <laughs> and I'll share my um, and thanks for watching my three months journey in Europe. Today's the last day, so let's go outside and enjoy it.
my name is I'm walking downstairs, about to leave, and I'm actually on the staircase right now. Very strange. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I was looking forward to this, uh, seeing this collection, but I don't like it at all. I spent like two hours here. I just want to get out of here. I don't know where I'm going next. Uh, let's just get out of here. <laughs> I'm outside now <laughs> and uh, it's 5 30 so I checked Hermes is closed uh, because today is Sunday so basically all the luxury stores are closed right now so I'll go to another museum and uh, I'll tell you the exact name when I get there and it's still open so walk is about um, 45 minutes but I think along the river it should be quite enjoyable and let's go there and check it out if it's still open then we <laughs> enjoy another tour if it's not maybe i'll go back to the hotel and i'll pack my suitcases hi guys i'm back in my hotel room <laughs> it's way too hot to walk 
I thought, you know, walking along the river would be nice, but the sunshine is so strong, even at six o'clock. And uh, I just felt really, really tired. And I want to come back to my hotel, drink some water, eat some fruits. And uh, on my way back, I did go inside Chanel 31 Hukongbong, so their flagship headquarters. Uh, yesterday, I went inside 19, 19 Hukongbong. So I went inside 31, the legendary address. and. Uh, for some air conditioning and the air is so beautiful inside it's just so luxurious and it smells so good and everything looks so nice i took a really good look around the store um and people are lining up for service so um yeah so i'm very satisfied from just looking at things <laughs> i'm very satisfied already and i thought about buying a lipstick or some makeup but then my brain reminds me that we are still wearing face masks in Hong Kong until forever, until 20 years later, still wearing face masks. Um, actually, this morning I washed, I hand washed some laundry. I still have a few things to wash and yeah, I'll pack my suitcases tonight. Um, I think what I'll do is change into my swimwear and go for a swim in the hotel pool. <laughs> I actually have a speedo. I'll show you guys. I actually have a speedo that I wear. I I use every week in Bordeaux because in Bordeaux, in that property, um, there's a swimming pool as well. Actually, they're the same size. The swimming pool in Bordeaux is actually the same size as the one in this hotel. Uh, yeah, I think I'll get into my swimwear because it's a long flight home. Um, and then seven days inside a hotel room for quarantine. Might as well do some stretching, swim a bit, and then relax my muscle and prepare for a long flight home. So I'll show you what I have. <laughs> it's my Speedo very reliable very strong and uh, yeah i have this pool in bordeaux and it's really nice but i am not allowed to take any photos or video so i actually have two bikinis and um, this one is by vix and the uh, fan i have quite a few swimwear from this brand and i actually bought this more than one year ago but i've been waiting for the right occasion uh, also the right location to wear them because the color is so fun um, but you need the blue ocean and blue sky to match and the strong sunlight to bring out these kind of colors I think in Hong Kong it will not give it much justice and also it's very when I wear this it's quite sexy because the fabric um, there's a lot of um, exposure not much coverage <laughs> and uh, this is the bottom quite cute perfect to wear in malta or in sicily but i never thought i would cancel my plan to the mediterranean otherwise i could have you know some really nice summer photos to show you guys and um so this is a crochet <laughs> it's by Zimmerman. i really thought this summer i can wear them and uh, actually the my hotel in Venice as well I had them with me to Venice and uh, I was waiting for the right day but the first day of my arrival it was perfect weather but then the next day we had the storm so actually the whole week I spent in Venice only the first day of my arrival it was sunshine blue sky blue sea this is actually not that appropriate for Hong Kong I would think because uh, it's almost see-through <laughs> because usually when I wear swimwear I don't add any padding I like my natural shape and uh, this one I think for Hong Kong is a bit risque and the bottom is quite uh, tiny as well if I had gone sailing in the Mediterranean on a boat you know maybe our Murphy coast um, you know with the uh, in Capri I think it's wonderful really look forward to wearing them one day hopefully not two or three years later <laughs> now pop into this and go downstairs and enjoy the pool together let's go <laughs> i just changed <laughs> 
I need to wear a bathrobe because the swimming pool is in the basement. So I need to go directly from the fifth floor to the basement. And uh, of course, filming in the swimming pool is not allowed because there are other guests. I'll try to show you a little bit. <laughs> I just want to thank you for watching the Paris video. And uh, <laughs> of course, you know, I would love to show you more art exhibitions, but um, maybe next time. Uh, but next time, I don't think I'll come again in summer. It's way, way, way too hot to walk around. I think I only got, got like five to six active hours every day because <laughs> then I'll get too tired. I want to come back to the hotel. And also this time, my skin was not so good. So I was very concerned about getting sunburn. So let's go down and uh, have a swim. And then I'll see you again when I get back to Hong Kong.